Hi everybody, this is Yuri Tsihus, analyst of FIBO Group. Let's speak a bit about economic news on this week. This trading week will have a lot of economic news that significantly affect market volatility. Especially we need to pay attention for the following important news, such as publication of PPI, producer price index in Germany, the US, consumer price index, the retail sales in Canada, interest rate of the Bank of New Zealand, the index of manufacturing activity in Eurozone, and the preliminary value of GDP in UK. Beginning of the week for the Asian session could have a moderate tempo. Japan celebrates a marine day. The Japanese celebrate this day as a day of gratitude to ocean with hopes in well-being of maritime nation like Japan. Despite the low trading activity from the morning, producer price index in Germany could give a dynamic for the trading volume. This index is an indicator of inflation. It measures the average price change in producer sales of goods and services. The release of the statistics can create the trading activity for a whole day. In Tuesday afternoon, Forex attention could be on the US Consumer Price Index. Inflation in the US on the next week may have a big influence on trading. It is known that the index shows the change in retail prices. Or in other words, the inflation dynamics, growth or decline. And as experts expect a moderate decrease in the rate of inflation for several years, the CPI decline can positively affect the strengthening of the US dollar against major currencies. Wednesday could be interesting with the release of the index of retail sales in Canada. Canadian dollar could catch a wave of speculative activity on the background of the release of the statistics. This indicator plays a big role in the assessment of the country's economy as it measures activity in the retail trade. Thursday will have a significantly important day for the next week. The focus of traders will be on Asian and European session. In the first minutes of the Asian session, we will see the official interest rate from the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. Especially on this news is expected high speculative trading activity on New Zealand dollar. The interest rate of the Reserve Bank of New Zealand or the discount rate is an indicator of the economic situation in the country. With high interest rates, inflation decreases and with low creates the preconditions for growth. Andrew Masters, an expert from FIBO Group, will give us some special analytic news. Andrew? Hi traders. I'm Andrew Masters from FIBO Group with my report on the New Zealand economy. The Reserve Bank of New Zealand meets again next week for a decision on whether to raise interest rates. Although they could raise rates, it's no longer the absolute certainty it was. The two indicators causing doubt are surprisingly sharp drop in wholesale dairy prices and a weaker than expected inflation figures, easing pressure on the central bank to continue raising borrowing costs and sending the Kiwi dollar lower. The consumer price index rose 0.3% in the three months end of June, taking the annual increase to a lower than expected 1.6%, against analyst forecasts of 1.8 and 1.9%. Analysts expected a higher number due to the $40 billion rebuilding of earthquake-damaged Christchurch and the strongest immigration numbers in 11 years which added pressure to prices. Meanwhile, nobody's ruling out the possibility of further dairy price falls, particularly because buyers have the ball in their court. Economists were lowering their forecast for Fonterra's payout to farmers, and that could mean about $4 billion less going into farmers' pockets this season compared with the previous season. Fonterra's Global Dairy Trade Auction Index fell nearly 9% at its latest fortnightly auction, and the average price has fallen more than 34% since the February peak. 
One analyst who thinks the central bank will move on rates is Bank of New Zealand Head of Market Economics, Stephen Topless. He said he believed they would hike rates this month, but that may be the end of it for a while. He also mentioned that the way to look at both the decline in dairy prices and weak inflation numbers is to recognise that it puts a question mark over continued rate increases by the central bank and from the other side when they will stop raising rates. The Reserve Bank has said for some time it was going to raise interest rates by 100 basis points or 1% and then see how the economy was reacting. They've already raised rates by 75 basis points, so to be consistent, they need to follow through with the final 25 basis points. The chance of a quarter point increase to 3.5% next week fell to 77% from 93% ahead of the inflation report, according to Swap's data compiled by Bloomberg. Despite the disappointing inflation and dairy numbers, it seems that most analysts expect the central bank to raise rates by 25 basis points at their meeting next week. Thank you, Andrew. Release of index of manufacturing activity in the Eurozone will precede the trading activity. Limit value of this index is 50 points. If the data is below 50, then it will be a signal of unresolved economic problems in the Eurozone. And the end of the trading week on Friday, traders will be interested in British Pound. Publication of preliminary value of UK GDP is most likely will increase volatility in the assets market, which is related to British Pound. Gross domestic product measures the market value of all final goods and services. If the GDP is high, we have economic growth. Well, the below market expectations gives a signal for the economic slowdown. Summarizing the next week, we can conclude that the particular activity for the forex market can be focused on the New Zealand dollar due to interest rate announcement and the euro emit release of index of manufacturing activity in the eurozone.